Why didn't you tell me? How could I? He's your brother. And what? You think I would take his side? I ain't what I said. What did you expect then? I didn't think you'd believe me. Don't be stupid. Why wouldn't I? Mum didn't. What? I think it don't matter. Are you telling me that Mum knew about this? Not exactly. Well, what then? I told her he was touching me. You told her that? She didn't believe me. Oh, no. It's no. true. You telling me that your mum stood by and let that happen? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? This is your mother we're talking about. All I know is I told her and she said I was imagining she it. She would have told me. Well, she obviously didn't, did she? She wouldn't have kept something like that to herself. Not from me. No, you're right. I lied. I didn't say a word. In fact, I quite liked your brother touching me up. Well, I wouldn't want to spot it by telling anyone, would Shut I? Shut your filthy mouth! Oh, that's it. It's not shut my mouth, it's shut my filthy mouth. That's how you see me, isn't it? No. Yes, it is. I can see it in your eyes. It's always been there. Ever since you found out I was pregnant. Oh, you've tried to hide it. Pretending it wasn't happening. But it's never gone away. It's not true. Yes, it is. Well, yes, I was disappointed, didn't you? Yes, disappointed? But you were pregnant at 13. It wasn't my fault. Well, I know that now. And I would have known then if you hadn't have lied. I told Mum. So you say. But she wouldn't have kept that to herself. She worshipped you girls. She must have misunderstood what you were saying. Yeah. Yeah, she must have. There is no way she would have let anything like that go by. Not my view. No way. No. We're all going to have to sit down as a family and talk this through. Can't you talk to me first? We've all got to be strong for Zoe. But what about me? She's just a kid. But I was 13 years old and I had my uncle coming into my room at night and putting his hand under my covers. Can we talk about that first? What he did was wrong. No one's saying it wasn't. I don't want you to say it's wrong. I just want you to cuddle me. Like I wanted you to cuddle me then. Where were you, Dad? I was there. No, you weren't. I needed you so badly then. All I wanted was for you to sit me on your lap and say it didn't matter. And that you still loved me. And everything was going to be all right. But you didn't, did you, Dad? You just looked at me with disgust. Disgust and contempt. And if that wasn't enough, you took my baby off me. We did what we thought was best. Best for who? When I was little, I used to be too frightened to go to bed. Because the curtains used to make shadows on the wall. And then one night, it must have been about six, you came into my room and you opened my curtains and you said to look at the moon because there was a man in it. And whenever I can see the moon, nothing horrible would happen to me because he'd look after me. But I really believe that. <laughs> I used to go, but every night my curtains open so I could see the man in the moon. They were open the night Harry came into my room. And I turned the other way. Because I couldn't believe what was happening to me. And I see the moon. And I knew that you lied to me. I am so sorry. It's not too late, Dad. You can give me a cuddle now. And I could be your little girl again. I still believe in him. The others are coming back now. So he's down there on her own. I'll, uh, we'll talk about it later, eh? Yeah.